Bellamy. Good afternoon. Another update from Annie's Antiques. We're open now. Been open about a week or so. Have a few things sitting outside. Nice older Schwinn bicycle. Have all of our lettering up. Open signs. Pretty much the same things in the window that we had previously. But now we're open. Okay. Counter works about the same as previously shown. Desk is getting fuller. Actually, a little bit of everything is getting fuller. Large assortment to look for. M&M collectibles. Lots and lots and lots of jewelry. Art glass. Old crates. Old in-box toys. Bicycle license plates. Bird cages. A magnificent antique sewing machine. A bent gas tank off my Harley. A beautiful butcher block. And a coffee cup display. A Victrola. We have milk cans. There's the bird cage again. We have various toys and dolls. More old inbox toys. Toy cap guns. Large selection. Other miscellaneous toys. Everybody needs a gumball machine full of dice. Other miscellaneous toys. Masonware. Picnicking accessories. Okay, moving along to a new room. The hallway is filling up. We have doilies, we have miscellaneous belts and what have you. Then moving on to room number one. The large piece of furniture, which is for display only, is a German shrunk, which is a large wall unit. It is filled with glassware and silverware. I just love that German shrunk. Okay, moving along again. Once again, the displays aren't for sale. If we sold them, we wouldn't have anywhere to put anything. The beautiful 50s chair that's been since sold. Others that remain for sale. Antique magazines from the 30s through 50s. I don't know what you would call a wooden figurine, or if it's a caricature but a large selection of them. Most of these are German manufacture. Beautiful detail. And then a whole bunch of dogs. Moving along to the next room. Along the way we have a antique croquet set. Various artwork. More artwork. Room number three, which is a dedicated doll room. There are some kitchen niceties, articles of clothing, 
more dull stuff. A bread box and a lamp. Lots of Barbies and Barbie furniture. A really cool wicker picnic basket. Other wicker items. A few lamps here and there scattered about. Room number three that we call the music room, even though there's only one or two musical instruments in it. Nice trombone. A brand new with warranty scooter. Oh, no it didn't. Beautiful wicker baskets and the leather bar stools that we have on Craigslist currently. Brass lamp and another set of really cool 60s bar stools. Now this is neat. This is a bed converted into a foot of your bed trunk. I think somebody might enjoy lining it with cedar and make a beautiful cedar chest out of it. This is a rare find. This is a chair from Turkey imported by a serviceman into the US. A brand new child's Hair cutting chair, linens, a little bit of iron, quite a few sewing ribbons and fabrics, cookie cutters, small rugs. That will pretty much cover it for Annie's Antiques. Then around the back we have Precision Instruments, which is going to be my lawnmower and motorcycle shop is far from completed yet. We do, however, have quite a few of the motorcycles coming in. Full dressers, choppers, a little bit of everything. This is my boss's Triumph chopper. She's had it for 15 years. My show sporty, all in chrome, customer sporty, uh, Yamaha DT400 that I picked up last year and have yet to restore. And we'll pretty much cover it for today for Annie's Antiques. You folks make a point of stopping in and visit. We've got a lot to look at. And lastly, the proprietor. Have a good day, folks.